Hello. This is a short little video to have you check out how you answered um, for lesson one seven on apportionment, questions eight, nine, 10, and 11 at the end. So I'm gonna take you to the book. So you can see this is, um, it says, let's see here. In your workbook, it's actually page 115. <clears throat> um, but at the top, it's going to say 25 of 184 in the book if you go to it on, um, if you happen to be looking on the virtual book. So number eight, <clears throat> each of these, I want you to let me know, um, we're going to decide if we need to use an apportionment or we do not need to, and we need to justify why. So it says... A school district raises an extra $1.2 million when a levy passes and decides to divide it among all the schools in the system based on enrollment. So <clears throat> because we don't have to divide the money in whole dollars and we can use pennies, then we don't need apportionment. Now, the one thing that we will round is the pennies, but we already have a way to round those pennies. So we don't need apportionment. I will show you my paper in a minute. Number nine, a manufacturing company with four locations buys 22 new stamping machines. The plan is to divide them among the locations based on production levels over the last four years. So number nine, when we think about what we're sharing, we're sharing machines and we cannot use half, of a, half or part of a machine. So we do need apportionment. because some locations are going to get more or less fewer of the machines than the other ones. Number 10, each day, a team of engineers that works for a utility company decides how to allocate power on the grid to various neighborhoods based on past uses, usage statistics. So as far as I know, you can allocate um, electricity and power on the grid and it can be in decimal form. So we don't need a apportionment for this one. Then number 11 says, each day the manager of a large roofing company decides how to allocate workers to that day's jobs based on the size of the job and the time to completion. And this one we are allocating workers. And again, workers are humans and we can't have part of them. So we do need apportionment. Please reach out if you have any questions.